And Media Control Panel is a very powerful tool which can customize your gaming experience, offer multiple graphics settings and numerous other customization options. However, you may sometimes run into NVIDIA display settings are not available error message when trying to use it and we are going to give you solutions for the same. So number one, check the display connection. Your PC generally has two types of display ports, Intel integrated graphics and NVIDIA graphics hardware. If your monitor is connected to the wrong display port, the NVIDIA control panel will fail to detect the graphics card. So first identify the display ports and connect your monitor's display adapter to the NVIDIA graphics hardware discrete port. Restart your computer after fixing the connection and check to see if that works. Second, use VGA to HDMI converter on your graphics card. If the problem persists after connecting your display cable to the appropriate slot, you can try using a converter or changing the display adapter. One of the most popular converters is VGMA to HDMI, which allows you to use one of the HDMI ports on your computer. Next is to update or reinstall graphics card drivers. The graphics card driver could be outdated, corrupted or uninstalled. Although there are various manual methods to install latest graphics driver, but best method is to use the advanced driver updater app. The app allows you to explore all the outdated drivers within the system and update them in one single click. All you have to do is click scan now to detect the outdated drivers and then update all for the rest. Next is to enable all NVIDIA services. NVIDIA has several services running on your computer that manage your display driver and ensure its smooth operation. If one or more of them stop working, your PC and by extension the NVIDIA control panel will not detect the graphics card. So to fix this problem, you must enable or restart all NVIDIA services including NVIDIA display container, LS, NVIDIA telemetry container and NVIDIA local system container as well as NVIDIA network service container. So to enable them, press Windows plus R to open the run program and type services.msc in the search bar, hit enter, find any of the services mentioned earlier, right click and select properties, find the startup type drop box in the properties window and set it to automatic. If the service is running, click the stop button, wait a few minutes and click start. Repeat these steps for all the NVIDIA services. And last is to reinstall the NVIDIA graphics driver and the control panel. If all else fails, you can uninstall all NVIDIA apps and services from your Windows PC and reinstall them. Boot your Windows PC into safe mode by clicking link in the description below. Next, open the device manager, right click on the NVIDIA graphics card and select uninstall. After uninstalling the graphics card, navigate to settings, apps, apps and features and uninstall all apps from NVIDIA Corporation. Now restart your PC and go to the official GeForce drivers webpage to download a driver for your graphics card. Run the driver installer and select the custom installation option. Ensure you tick the perform a clean installation checkbox to override any previous NVIDIA settings. So that's it for today guys. We hope that this video has helped. 